going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel today. I have my classic Super Nintendo. I'm also wearing my Super Mario 3 shirt because I'm feeling like a G. Because today we got some really good news. News that I've been speculating on and, and really have thought was going to happen regardless. I still think that later iterations of Nintendo consoles are coming down the pipeline. Uh, you can bet your ass we're going to see a Nintendo 64 next year. And I don't know if they're going to do the GameCube, but something tells me they probably are going to try to do that too. This is the classic Super Nintendo, the original. And uh, it holds a very special place in my heart. It was really the first console that I fell in love with, and to this day it's still one of my favorite consoles. Besides maybe the PS2, uh, the Super Nintendo is probably my favorite console of all time. I just played tons of games just when graphics became graphics. And we looked for you know better experiences and more robust experiences in our home console experience. And the Super Nintendo really brought that home for me with games like Street Fighter 2, uh, Turtles in Time, Super Mario All-Stars, which had all the Mario games on it. Uh, Castlevania 4, Super Castlevania, just a ton of great games, A Link to the Past, just, this is a magical machine. And so today we got some pretty interesting news that Nintendo is in fact uh, releasing a Super Nintendo Mini. I'm hoping um, that they are going to make it a little bit easier to get than they did the Nintendo Mini. I still don't own one of those, I want one, but I'm not going to buy it at a scout price, so, you know, those eBay sellers can keep it. They can die with it. I still have a Nintendo if I really need to play it. But I really wanted one and I was, I was unable to get it. I'm not the kind of guy who goes stand in line and wait usually. Uh, but something tells me later on down the line I'll come across one and I'll probably end up picking one up. But the Super Nintendo Mini is something that I feel I have to have uh, initially when it first comes out. I'm just super excited about the possibility of the games they put on it. Maybe Donkey Kong Country. Of course you know there's going to be one or two Mario games. They should just put Mario All-Stars All on it. Because it has every Mario game and it's a Super Nintendo game. Put Ninja Gaiden Trilogy on there. Earthbound, do some great stuff, and uh, who knows, maybe they'll do more than 30 games. I mean, if they sold it with 60 games for $100, would you buy it? I know I would. I'd buy it in a heartbeat for 100 bucks if it had 60 games. This is a magical, a magical console. I'm super excited about it. So sources have shared with Eurogamer that the Super Nintendo Mini is actually underway right now. It's actually being manufactured. They're working on it. Uh, no real details about how many games they're going to put on this thing have been leaked. Uh, they did state last week that the classic NES Mini was never intended to be a permanent fixture. They didn't want it to stay on store shelves. And when you have something as exciting as this coming, you really don't want anything competing with it. I think, you know, at the end of this, maybe five or six years from now, once they release all their mini consoles, they're probably going to do another wave so everybody can get their hands on it. I'm super excited about the SNES Mini. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy this. I don't know if I'll be standing in line for it or I'll just do a pre-order. I definitely will be buying this. I'm super amped to see how many games they're able to put on this thing, how small it's going to be, and if they, you know, include longer controller cores than they did with the classic NES Mini. You guys let me know in the comments, uh, are you excited about the Super Nintendo Mini? Is this something you would consider buying? Are you more hyped for this than maybe the NES Classic Mini? I think this is more exciting. I think the games that actually came out on this thing are better than the ones on the NES. You get Turtles in Time, A Link to the Past, Super Castlevania, Blackthorn, which is not really a classic, but it's one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Um, it's just a ton of stuff. Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time later on this year, and this is also going to put a big monkey wrench in the plans of a lot of people looking to buy next-gen consoles if they can get a classic Super Nintendo with 50 or 60 games on it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for swinging by and checking out the video. If you did like it, please give a thumbs up to show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to, you can become a patron and support my channel on Patreon. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.